What happens to these mobile phones after they leave the recycling bin? They are sent to a recycling plant where each device is manually broken down into materials like metal, rubber, and plastics. But here's one material you'll never thought you'd find in your mobile phone: gold. To gold bars. What I have in my hand here is a one kilogram pure gold bar made from materials collected from recycled phones. It takes about fifty thousand phones to create a gold bar of this size. Tiny bits of gold are extracted from the wire boards and parts of mobile phones. These specks of gold are collected and then melted together to be sold to jewelry companies. You may have the the impression that a lot of gold or precious metals is in the e-waste. I think、uh, that is a public misconception as well.、Uh, there really isn't a lot of it. There are clearly、uh, precious resources that we could recover from it. However, you know, it's it's different from saying that there is a you know ten of the phones could give you one kilogram of gold bar. The numbers are a lot, lot、uh, much larger than that for you to derive that gold、uh, one kilogram of、uh, gold. Gold isn't the only item recycled from mobile phones. Other materials include steel, platinum, and copper. Companies it goes to specialized,、uh, let's say paper would go to a specialized paper uh, uh, recycler, uh, you know,、uh, vendor. We call them downstream vendors. So、uh, paper would go that way. Likewise, would be plastics. Gold it could be can be sold to、uh, you know in the market quite readily as well. The jewelers and、uh, goldsmiths. Yeah. yeah. Many countries are riding the green wave, but will Singaporeans take to the idea of phone recycling? Find out in the next clip.